Some racers often say that their batteries seem to have gone out of balance and uh, when they put them on the balance charge, they seem to take forever and ever, just, you know, ages, uh, maybe even hours. They just will not peak off. When you've got a 2S high power battery, it should peak off at um, 8.4 volts. And uh, if the, the two cells inside, each one of, um, will peak off at 4.2, making 8.4. But if, if one is out of balance with the other, uh, the charger tries to balance it up so that uh, if one is high, at higher voltage, what the charger does is start discharging that one for a little while and bring the voltage down and charge them both up. But uh, most cheap chargers, well even some expensive ones, only discharge at 100 milliamps or 0.1 of an amp and uh, when it, it takes it down and tries charging it up again and the low cell never seems to get up to voltage. When they make batteries they um, they measure the capacitance often I think they just weigh them actually and get them as accurate as possible so that the two cells are the same capacity so that this uh, will never happen normally they always charge up and discharge the same occasionally they might make a mistake or one cell might develop some sort of fault where it goes low or something just happens you've run it down uh, very flat and they've seemed to have gone out of balance um, so unless you've got some of the more expensive chargers, 100, 200 pounds, will actually uh, balance at a high current, uh, one or two amps, and uh, that might bring them up. Uh, but anyway, there is a way of trying to recover these batteries. I might uh, also say that sometimes if a cell goes low in a pack, and always if one cell is lower than the other in a two cell pack, um, often that cell always remains low, low, even if you charge it up normally, you'll find that after the race it'll be low again. Um, it's probably a manufacturing uh, thing where it's not quite right. Uh, and there's nothing much you can do about that. And um, if you uh, race at the highest level, you'll probably have to get rid of that pack because even a small uh, voltage drop in one of the cells might mean it's got a slight high resistance, anything, which will uh, give you a slower pack than your perfect one. Anyway, how to recover this pack? Here's a pack that someone sent to me. They said it just will not charge up uh, to fully. One cell is always low. Uh, let's just check it. Uh, we put it on uh, a capacity checker here, and uh, which shows you it says it's 8.357. Check each cell. One's at 4.12, one's at 4.22. Uh, the difference is um, 0.1 of a volt. So, uh, is that significant? Well, it is, because it means there's something wrong, and um, you, you don't want one cell uh, possibly always giving you lower voltage. It means in the first uh, lap of a race, when you're up against someone with a perfect pack, you'll probably be a fraction slower, and it can make a difference between winning and losing. So, how to recover it? As I said, a cheap charger uh, won't do it when it gets out by, by even 0.1 of a volt. So what you do, you need to charge each cell in a pack individually. Now this is a 2S one, you could also do this with 3S and 4S etc. It's a bit more difficult to get the connections because in to get into the two cells in here all you do is um, you put a connector in, in there and a connector in the middle and you can have one here and then you can connect across there or across there and that gives you a 1S. You set your charger to 1S and then you just connect the plus and minus on there and charge it as a 1S battery. And when that's fully charged, if you switch off at 4.2 volts, you switch it to this one and charge that as 1S to 4.2 volts. And then you can check it if you've got a checker or you can then um, uh, check it on the balance uh, as a 2S and see if it's right. Now, as I said, sometimes... Um, cells even though you charge them fully up uh, well, as soon as you take them off charge in a short time the voltage will drop back a really high performance uh, battery the voltage won't drop back and you know if you've got a really good cell if you charge it to 8.4 volts and then next next day you check it and it's still 8.4 or maybe even in a week's time but some batteries the voltage does slowly discharge self-discharge and the voltage drops back and uh, 
occasionally you've got a pack and one of the cells will always drop back and it's probably best to get rid of that. But anyway, we're going to have a go with this one, see if we can balance it out and get it perfect and then see uh, if it will hold that charge. So the first thing you do, you get your charger and you get a charge lead like this, which is just a plus and minus. You won't need the balanced charge lead, which is normally on it. You take that off. Just plug in the plus and minus. Set it to 1S. And then for a high power battery, about 4 amps, you don't want to charge it at, say, 10 amps or something, because you often with 1S charging, uh, some chargers, especially the cheaper ones, have difficulty with 1S and they don't like high current, so they find it switch off early. So you connect it, so this is minus to plus. Make sure you don't short out the um, terminals. I mean, you could make up a wire with the plugs in it, it would be safer. And uh, you switch it on and um, you start it off charging. Now, this says it's uh, this. One of these was higher than the other. It says it's 4.2, but we'll leave it on a little while until it switches off. Then we switch the terminals to the other side and, and uh, charge it up. Now, um, I do also recommend, once you've done that, that you fully discharge the pack like a cycle. Now, some uh, cheap chargers, they take forever to discharge. They may only charge it 1 or 2 amps. Um, you need to charge it down, discharge it to 6 volts. Um... Uh, one reason why they don't use high discharge currents is that if you ch discharge 6 volts and one cell is low capacity, it will become dead flat, while the other ones might still have some voltage, and that will completely ruin the cell. Now, um, you can buy high current uh, dischargers, like uh, uh, this one, this Prolux one, it's a 10 amp one, you can set the, uh, the, the shut off voltage, um, otherwise if you haven't got a discharger of any form, you'll just have to put it on your normal discharger and leave it for um, however long it takes, an hour or so. Uh, and then try balance charging it up after it's been discharged that way. And um, it may be perfect. If it's not, um, just uh, repeat the procedure again and do it again. And uh, normally that uh, fixes most of these packs. Um, low capacity packs uh, that aren't so high power suffer from this problem quite a lot. Uh, high power ones not so much. This is a 90C one which is really high power, 4000 milliamps. If you've got a, like a 2000 milliamp or something really small like, um, like this 1700 LIFE, they often go out quite a long way out of balance and um, you have to uh, either live with that or um, try and balance them up, but they often won't balance up properly. So um, this is best only done on uh, high power ones where you've just got one that's gone out. Anyway, I'll leave this on charging and then I'll do the other side. I'll put it back on the this checker and um, then I'll cycle it and see if it uh, charge up on the balance mode. charged up one of the cells and then managed to get only 196 milliamps into that one so we'll try uh, the other side now and see if that was how much goes into that one charged up both cells on here and uh, to full so now I'm going to just check them on here uh, to see what the capacity is and if the voltage is holding up Right, after charging each individual cell uh, to maximum, uh, I've got it back on this here. It says it's uh, 8.405, 99%, and uh, one is 4.21, one is 4.19, and the difference is 0 0.017. Okay, it's still not perfect, uh, but it's much, much closer now. It was 0 0.1 volt out, now it's 0 0.017. So, uh, We'll cycle this now and do a balance charge and see how it gets on. 
Here fully discharged that pack down 6 volts. Got 3,627 milliamps out of it. So it's not actually 4,000. I found this with a lot of manufacturers that their claims on the capacity are not uh, as high as they say. Anyway, so that's fully discharged. Um, you can just check. The balance would probably be out. When you fully discharge, you normally find one cell will be lower than the other one says it's taking it down to uh, 2 percent it's just up to 2 percent it's recovered slightly uh, um, 3.61 and 3 so um, at least it didn't go below 3 so um, I'll put it on the balance charge now and see if it, it come up uh, well Right, I'm going to start the balance charger. Showing the two voltages, how they were out. Uh, and just watch them. Normally uh, they will come quite close after a short time. So um, they're coming up. 45, 46, that one's coming up. It's just checking it at the moment. It's dropped back. So they've come up pretty close, 53, 53. And it will charge up now and start checking the balance towards the end of charge. Current is um, 6 amps. Voltage is coming up. So I'll just leave that on and uh, see how it gets on. Showing 3636 at the moment, but it's the end of charge uh, is the important part. See if it's uh, recovered, it's, um, each cell will charge equally. Just finished uh, balance charging this uh, from flat after I fully discharged it. And I've Fully charged it up and um, it says on this tester 8.39 uh, and look at that 001 volt difference between max and min. We've got a 4.195 and a 4.194. So that's pretty impressive. I think the customer would be um, pleased with that. It's fully balanced. Hopefully it will stay balanced now and um, won't give any more problems. So just uh, in summary, if you've got uh, a battery that uh, keeps uh, going out of balance or is badly out of balance on one cell, um, do the single charging, fully discharge it, and then charge it up in balance mode. You might have to do it twice, but um, hopefully this is going to stay um, uh, fully balanced now. Just one final note for those people who charge their lipos up uh, the day before, night before, uh, they go racing the following night. Uh, really, really good lipos do hold their charge, but I find that uh, most do drop back. So if you charge this up, this was charged up fully to 8.4 volts, and it's already fallen back a little bit. This cell's on 4.16 um, 4.165 and 4.161 it's dropped back a tiny bit uh, you probably won't notice the difference in most racing but if you were racing at top level um, a, a drop any drop at all at the start of the race will uh, probably give you a slower uh, first lap than uh, someone who's just charged their battery up to completely uh, full Anyway, this battery, which has now been equalized, left overnight, uh, has um, kept its uh, voltage okay. Uh, one cell, when it, when it originally uh, came, was um, way down on the other one. Uh, it's been balanced um, by the single cell charging method and uh, charged up, and the two cells seem fine now.